Welcome to another City Update. I'm Deborah Cidio Dugan, and we are in the Innovation Kitchen at the Phoenix Convention Center. I'm with Chef Masood. He's the new executive chef here at the Convention Center, and you have a quite a colorful background, um, Mr. Masood. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, thank you very much. I've been in the cooking business for the past 30 years, and majority of that in the Chicagoland area and the food scene. I work some of the fantastic hotels, including Drake Hotel and Fairmont Hotel in Chicago. Very Actually, I was the fine dining room chef of an entrepreneur restaurant, which will receive numerous accolades and, and uh, writings from the food, food writers. Uh, and and uh, actually, for a couple of years now, I was the executive chef of Art Institute of Chicago, which was a wonderful place. And, and I, I cook for dignitaries and, and politicians alike including Premier of China, Prime Minister of Japan, wow. Hillary Clinton, a couple of my favorite chefs, uh, Julia Child and Chef Papin, oh, uh, wow. again as well, you know, to name a few. Wow. And, and after that, I, I was in the casino hospitality industry for about a decade, and here we are now. I'm in and Phoenix. here we are. And we are so excited. You're here at the Phoenix Convention Center, and the Phoenix Convention Center is one of the top 25 largest convention centers in the country. So you have luncheons, dinners, breakfasts from, you know, up to thousands of people you're preparing food for. Yeah, absolutely. Did you know last year we served 2.6 million people right here in this uh, convention center? This convention, uh, convention center became the, the dining room and living room of the city of Phoenix. So I think what we do here, yeah, it has a great impact of what happens in, in, in Phoenix. Oh, that's right. The convention yeah. center attracts, you know, the, the Super Bowl we were here, you know, the NCAA college right. football. There's lots of uh, large attractions that come right here to, to, to Phoenix. Now, how did you get into cooking and culinary? You know, my passion for cooking really comes from passion for eating. You know, I Who doesn't like to eat? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, I love to eat. But I also come from a large family that, that we really cook meals three times a day. You know, we made numerous to markets four or five times a week, really, you know, visiting our, our neighborhood butcher and, and the big shop. And, and so, so it, it comes from, from really understanding the freshness and appreciating it. And uh, really, it, uh, it was kind of by necessity. And actually, believe it or not, cooking relaxes me. Wow. You know, I, I, when I do, I just, I'm in my own world very focused, very relaxed, and, and really that's for the reason. Well, I know your passion is French cuisine, but you're yeah. here in the Southwest, too, so you're kind of building that repertoire, too, for the, the hot peppers and the chilies and the tortillas and things like that as well? Yes, absolutely. That's the exciting part of this job here, you know, to be able to infuse some of that, you know, cuisine in, into what I do and, and what, what, what I really love to do, which is, which is French cuisine. And I'm working on several recipes. A couple of them I will show you today. Oh, excellent. Some of the techniques we use here is, is really very up-to-date modern techniques. Right. The food, the day-to-day -day operation, meeting with the guests, you know, actually doing the tasting right in this kitchen. Writing the menus. And writing the menus as well. Uh, so yeah, really a finger, my finger is on everything. On everything. Okay, yeah. let's get to it. Fantastic. Okay. Now once you taste this, you're going to love this dish. And it, it's obviously a seed, seedless melon that is just... Yes, a seedless melon. And how do you smush that, that my, orange uh, is in there? Uh, the vacuum, it does that. Huh. So we have a fado Wild. cheese okay. and micro arugula. And for a bit of acidity, I have the uh, Dijon champagne vinaigrette. There you go. Oh, and that's And in lovely. this vinaigrette, I also have a little bit of agave nectar. Oh, right. Okay. Again, Southwest style. A little bit of Southwest style. Uh -huh. Oh, that's beautiful, because after all, presentation is everything, presentation right? Presentation is everything. Now, some of the dishes we serve here, people are really su surprised that they, they get this at a convention center. Yeah. And, and we keep saying, we're not your typical convention center. So the next one I'll do for you is the Sonoran salmon. Okay. This is a, a fire-roasted red pepper coulis. Okay. Uh, the origin is really French. So this is our rice and black bean patty. Beautiful. That's my version of the rice and beans. And who doesn't like spinach? Exactly. A little bit of that. Now this is avocado mousse. So basically I have avocado, a little bit of cream, and boursin cheese, which is popular in French cuisine. This is micro cilantro. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of this. You know, we really make an effort to work with the local farms and, and really support our lo local vendors. Oh, look at that. Now the last uh, element to this dish is green chili and tomato ah, chutney. Ah, there you go. There's our little there, Southwest there's flavor. There's that Southwestern That's touch right. over here. So you have your rice, your beans, your salmon, your veggies. This right. is great. That's fantastic. Now this is uh, Yukon gold potatoes. Uh -huh. 
which we season with the roasted the garlic and caramelized onions. It's a broccoli rabe. Okay. So this adds a little bit of burn, bitterness to the dish and it should complement the short rib nicely. Now you eat with your eyes first. You know, I always say that. And, and if the dish is not appetizing, really, uh, you wouldn't want to try it. There you go. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Now I'm going to add the sauce. And you got a pretty nice meal there. You got okay. a pretty nice meal. This is the braised These short ribs, braised short uh, ribs. With, with the Yukon Gold uh, potatoes infused with roasted garlic okay. and, and caramelized onions. Right. Uh, broccoli wrap with uh, uh, caramelized uh, baby carrots. Okay. And this is a cola demi. Uh -huh. And Sonoran rub salmon with tomato and green chili chutney, black bean and brown rice this cake. This is my meal, yes. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roasted red pepper coulis and avocado mousse. Beautiful. Right. And of course, our compressed watermelon salad with fatter cheese crumbles. Uh, micro arugula and Dijon and champagne vinaigrette. It's like a little yeah. egg there. Yeah, it, it is, but it is not. This is part of our, our gastro um, that we do here. It's, it's actually a mango and orange juice sphere. Oh and we have a little bit of melon liquor and we're gonna top that with, with, the, uh, with a, some of the rose crystals. Well, yeah. Chef, this is lovely. This is awesome. Thank we're you. so fortunate to have you here in Phoenix. Thank we really much. are, so um, thank you so much. Bon appetit. Thank you, my yeah, pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, next time you want to come check out uh, the convention center for a meeting or a convention, uh, this is the person who's going to be serving you, or at least preparing the meals for you here at the convention center. For City Update, I'm Deborah Cedillo-Dugan.